My name is Rebecca and I'm one of the financial coaches here at Wealth Enhancers and today we're going to explore the differences between an advisor and a coach. What does an advisor do? Essentially they help you to reach your goals. They assess your current positions and they get to know you personally to work out how is the best way for you to get towards your goals. So an advisor might look at everything from cash and debt management, various investments, shares, properties, bonds, uh, long term investments like superannuation, as well as personal protection plan and getting all these elements uh, to work together to help you to reach your goals. So they'll build you the roadmap from where you are now to where you want to be based off this information that's been made available. Now, advice is not free and neither should it be generally. Uh, but the fees should be commensurate to the uh, complexity of the advice that you're receiving as well as the level of service given. Now, what does an advisor not do? They don't just work with wealthy people. There are various levels of advice within the industry to work towards people of any situation, whether you're uh, buried in debt, just getting started out, you have cash, you're you know, in your 30s, 40s, 50s, your um, high net wealth, there really is a solution to everyone and advice is available to everyone. So what does a coach do differently? So last week Gary sort of talked about the analogy between an advisor as a personal trainer um, who's going to get to know you, get to know your goals and write you a program to reach those goals. In that sense you might have one, two, three sessions with that trainer um, and then you might check back with them later for updates and revisions to that, that program. Now if you're a motivated and focused person, to have that clear roadmap that someone has explained to you will probably mean that you can take it away and for the next couple of months pump out that workout, stick to the plan and achieve those results. However, there are a number of scenarios where that plan isn't going to get you the results that you want. It might be that you're terrified of the gym um, and that you put off putting your runners on every day. It could be that once you're in the gym, you forget what you're supposed to do um, and would really value ongoing support. Or perhaps, and this is the instance with the majority of WE members, it could be that you have big ass goals and it requires a higher level of intensity. It's not enough to work through a new program every 6 to 12 months. You want constant feedback every time you work out. You want accountability of someone else on your team. And you want to be evolving and continuously moving forward. A coach is someone who looks beyond advice towards your values, towards your behaviour, and is there to hold up a mirror for things for you to see for yourself. Sometimes that mirror shows you things you don't want to see. Um, but you've heard me say it before, knowledge is a very powerful thing. Ultimately, a coach is not responsible for you to reach your goals. A coach is there to keep you accountable for you to be successful on your own two feet. We can't force you to be successful, um, but we can help you to navigate this journey over time and make, make informed decisions along the way. Now, at Wealth Enhancers, we strongly believe in the benefits of ongoing advice and coaching, but we also recognise that different people need different levels of support. High intensity coaching is not for everyone, and that's perfectly okay. We can help you work out what support you need and what that's going to look like for you. We're still running our free one hour financial kickstart session for those who are ready to get financially fit. And if you're already in good shape and are keen to get financially ripped, then that's even better. Book in a session with us and we can assess the opportunities you have and start working towards it.